Pretty much. I've got some bad news and I didn't even know and I didn't even mention it at the time of buying Fully cracked off on well. So as you all know from watching the last two episodes on the Rust Evo 8 We first bought this Evo from Scotland and drove it 8 hours back only to find out it's rusting away But because it's our dream car we have to restore it So far we have identified some problem areas and it has revealed areas that we need to repair But before we are going to need a couple of things to help get the job done So we're at the second yard and we're going to hook up the trailer with the tow rag and drive straight to Northampton It was only a couple of months when we got this trailer and now I feel like an expert, oh, kinda Right, this is your lift. You'll drive over it. You'll get four of them. That's if it. you get a high car, you can extend. That's yeah. It. I've seen that. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. How high did it go? That is crazy. Thank you very much. Oh, you um, care. Thank you very much. <laughs> Safe journey home. Let's go home. We've made it back to the HQ. We need to get the Evo out so we can get the ramp in. I'm really excited about this. Now we can work off the ground. The engine hoist. Hoist it right here. We can take the interior off, the wing off, the headlights off. So when we do get jacked up, it's like a bare shell almost. So we can see what we're dealing with. Right, let's get to work then. That's the back seat out. <laughs> the Evo is actually pretty quick to take all the interior off compared to all the cars that we did previously. On the outside the bolt looks alright but the inside's all rusty and the possibility that could have broke off basically. Rusty bolts eh? So we just found out that somebody moved this carpet way before us. If somebody mentioned in the, in the comment section last video to take this off because you might find rust behind it. Let's take it off. Some rust here. And the fact that a little bit water goes on the Evo because of how light the shell is, it just rusts. You're one pound one pure original. 1986 Scotland Inverness. Oh, there we go. There we go. Big hole, got some bad news but we found something of the Evo. The previous owner didn't even say we put soundproof in the boot to keep the sound down. Just took it all off. And obviously we found rust here. But basically across here, you can see across here. So it's been in the very end accident and I didn't even know and they didn't even mention it at the time of buying. Which kind of explains now the near side rear sashi rails are crumbled. It hit the and across here, it's caved in the rear sashi rails. So right there. Like this, I don't even know what this stuff is. <sighs> and you repair on the rear damage. It's sad to see that. You get people out there that will hide the damage at whatever cost. Finesse from Inverness. What is this? They've even really sprayed the that. That's mad. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. there. The collision must have been happening right here. I understand why Evos now are so light and flimsy and they get rusty so easy. It's such a light chassis. Yeah. As bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. I thought I was going to see a whole bunch of holes. Yeah, we keep it going. <laughs> yes! I've never seen the Evo like this in person. It's only right that we take it out for a drive. Baby Tay, by the way. 
Buckle up, let's go. Whoa, whoa. Very responsive, isn't it? Yeah. You guys alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does this car feel so responsive all of a sudden? <laughs> yo, this is sick. <laughs> this is mad. This is sick, yo. Oh, the car feels so good as well. God, this car is sick. Right, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that is mad. Now we've had our fun, I'm not gonna lie, but I was so gassed up. Now it's time to get it back into the unit, get it onto the wrap, and that's the last time we're gonna be driving this Evo till it's fully restored and back onto the road, and it's gonna be a, a while. Let's get it in the unit now. Now we've got the Evo parked up underneath the jack. We're gonna turn it on, see if it goes up. There's one there. there. Raise the Evo from the ground. Are we ready, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Am I supposed to be I'm actually worried, you know. Am I supposed to be worried? <laughs> Can I hear you? Yo. <laughs> What's going on? In order to get the engine out, we have two options. The first, out from the top or drop it from underneath. Because we are restoring the whole car, it's better to get the whole front end off as one piece. So we will be removing all the parts that are attached to the engine and gearbox. Firstly, the induction and hard pipe comes out to get better clearance. Oh crap! Oh, that's broken. Because yeah. that doesn't happen that quick. <laughs> oh my god. That's why we got boost leak in this car. Next, the intercooler piping, we take all the coolant out. Then we need to remove the oil pickup lines and the fuel lines. It was a bit tricky as most of it, the bolts and clips were seized. A bit of fuel dripping on there. A lot of people mentioned that it's going to be rusty around here. Which it is, but it's not too bad. you can see the uh, surface rust. There you go, there you go. There you go. So what we do right now is basically taking off all the throttle cables, fuel lines, oil pickup lines so the engine's a bit more free and then we'll raise up the Evo, take the exhaust off, the downpipe off, get the engine mounts off and drop the whole front subframe along with the engine down in the Evo. You're just putting all the... Took it all apart. I will admit a lot of the bolts are quite tight but the good news is they are turning and they're not seized like rusted and seized and we're not rounding them now we are unbolting the steering column free because if we drop the engine it'll just rip through the second last thing to take the engine out next up five subframe bolts size 17 which are attached to the frame of the car these are very important because if they don't come off the engine don't either but it looks like it's rounded man it will get rounded because it's stuck on there. You need the heat and the impact on See if you can heat it up for a bit. Oh, that one looks like it's opened. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Turning? Every time I turn, yeah. it feels like it's moulding it. 
that was heated up and it was a 16 star and that still didn't work Number three bolt turn, it's good news. Right. Oh, we've got it. Ah, I think it's turning. It's like oh. a shock last word. <laughs> and that's the noise of success. Bolt number five. Yeah, that's a fifth bolt success. Four bolts turned, one bolt rounded, four one to hood stick. We bought an eBay bolt removal kit. It's actually working. Let's see, but we managed to hammer it in, jam it in, and we managed to get it out. This set of 10 pieces of bolts are 13 pounds from eBay, and we got it off. We now start removing the exhaust, but because most of the bolts are seized, we try to remove as one piece. sensor for the exhaust which will be right there now you bring it back that side Woo! Oh, yeah. oh the exhaust split in the back oh. <laughs> it's fully cracked off on us let's see what we get off Oh, oh. Hmm. Well, the box inside the exhaust. Brake lines to remove right now. Disconnect this bit right here. And then top three bolts. That should just drop off with the subframe. It's mad how much under seal they're putting there. No yeah. What we're dealing with, rust over here. And then across here, the rust over here. The whole front end is now almost ready to come down to which we will do this in the next part of restoring the evo thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the whole build so much i can't believe how far we've come so far let's keep smashing it may the almighty bless each and every one of you see you guys next video peace